In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about polynomials and factoring, and in particular, long division. Now imagine you have this equation, and you're going to divide this by x minus 5. It's important to understand the purpose or your goal when you do something like long division. So let me tell you what you're trying to do right now. That green parabola is actually the equation for 2x squared minus 7x minus 15. When you factor a parabola, what you're trying to determine is where it crosses the x-axis. And those are the two points. We know one of the points, which is x minus 5. But we don't know the other one, which is denoted by a question mark. Most of the times you see factoring like this, x minus 5 times some other factor is equal to 2x squared minus 7x minus 15. In this case, we're trying to determine the unknown factor. The first thing we ask is, what times this x is equal to 2x squared? It turns out to be 2x. So we have x times 2x. And it can be written this way as well. I'm going to write it with the powers in there, x to the first times 2x to the first. Often the ones aren't included, but I think it would be helpful to understand what I'm doing. I'm taking this x to the first times that x to the first. I can write it this way as well. I'm using that little dot to indicate multiplication or times. I'm going to multiply x to the first times x to the first. So I add exponents, which is 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. And this equals 2x squared, which is that 2x squared. Now I'm going to subtract 2x times x from 2x squared, like that. So now I multiply 2x times negative 5. So I have 2x times negative 5. I multiply the 2 times the negative 5, which equals now negative 10 times x. I'm going to put the 10x right there. Now I'm going to subtract all this from the 2x squared minus 7x. So I have 2x squared minus 2x squared, which of course is 0. That was easy. Now I take negative 7x minus negative 10x. I have negative 7x minus negative 10x. These two negative signs become a positive. Now I have negative 7x plus 10x, which equals 3x. And I'll put that 3x right there, right about right here. I'm going to put it there. I'm going to put a positive sign in front of the 3x. Now I ask, what times x gives us 3x? It turns out to be 3, or plus 3. In other words, 3 times x is equal to 3x. I'm referring to that 3x there. I drop down the negative 15. And I'm going to subtract from that 3 times x, which is 3x. And 3 times 5, 3 times negative 5, which is negative 15. Let me add a close parenthesis there. So now I have 3x minus 3x, which is 0. I also have now negative 15 minus negative 15. So I have negative 15 minus a negative 15. The two negative signs become a positive sign. And then I have negative 15 plus 15, which is equal to 0. So now I have my two factors. Now let me go back to the very beginning where we started. 
and to show you how this all fits together. So I have 2x plus 3 is the answer to the problem. Factors are x minus 5 and 2x plus 3, and this equals to 2x squared minus 7x minus 15. And now I know both points where it crosses the x-axis, where the parabola crosses the x-axis. Solving these is another tutorial. In the end, that's it. Good luck, and always party more, study less.